welcome to Christie's Stamp and Spot. Here we go, yay. Okay, so the card that, cards that we're making, so I made it, um, this is a gorgeous pack of paper. The Flowers and Fields, this is the one that I've got open. I've got like several, I've gone through several of these already. They're gorgeous, gorgeous, um, bright colors. They have this fun bat black background. Usually we have like the white or vanilla that's the back, and this is the black which is kind of nice, makes the, the colors really pop. So I went ahead and made one of my favorite DSP um, cards. Um, I originally um, got the design for this card from Rhonda Wade years and years ago, but I still love it and um, I use it often on my blog. So like I said, I have um, this up on my blog right now. And, um, but also if you go over to my website um, under the, the video and more, there are printables for you. And under the printables for you, there's a card measurements PDF. And we're actually going to do the designer series paper card, the second one. That's actually the one that we're making. Now, I did modify it a little bit to, um, to score the little flap. Usually, I just use my hands and press it to the, what I want it to do so it matches. But this time, I'm actually going to um, use my score blade. So the, you can find this fabulous DSP in your celebration catalog. Um, and I know, I can't believe that it's already like the 8th of February. So we only have celebration for 20 more days. Is that crazy? So you want to get this paper, you, you, um, you can get it with free with um, any $50 order before shipping and tax, tax and shipping. But you can see there it is. Oh, it's so pretty, so pretty. So what you need to do is get your 12 by 12 and start, make sure you have a 12 by 12 and by 4. So um, you check because I do cut up on my paper, make sure I actually have a 12, because only Matt works if it's 12. So it is 12, and it is 4. Yay! Okay. So then, um, let me go ahead and move these out of the way. And this is going to form the base of our card. So also when you're cutting your DSP, make sure you've got, um, because it opens this way, so you want to make sure that you've got your pattern going the way you want. And then this card shows both um, sides of the DSP, which is why it's one of my favorites, because it does show both sides, which I love. Okay, so this one, okay, so you're going to start off, the very first score is at one and a quarter. And then, and be careful you don't really grind on your, um, with your score blade. You can also use your simple score um, if you've got the big scorer tool, that works too. But just make sure that you don't score too hard because DSP is thinner than regular cardstock. And it will tear if you um, really go at it hard. The next one is at four and a quarter. You make sure I've got that right. Yes, four and a quarter. And then the other one is at nine and a half. Nine and a half. My hand moved it. So I missed last Thursday's. Um, oh, I just cut it. Ah, don't do that. It's look at that. I just totally cut it. Oh no! Who to nanny? I need to do a different sheet of paper. And I don't know if I have any more of this in this pack. Which one was I doing? That. What is it? Polka dots. Let's see. Oh, my gosh. So what was I saying? Oh, so I didn't go on last week because I did um, go to the doctor and um, I got my cast off instead of you get on another sheet. So don't make sure you take off your, um, <laughs> your, your blade. I had it actually off earlier when I was doing it because I knew I was going to do that. But that's okay because you will need extra pa pa pieces um, for other things. Let me get another piece out. I love this 12 by 12. It's so gorgeous. Okay. So I missed it because I was at my doctor's appointment. But my my um, wrist is healing really well. So this one you do cut. <laughs> Don't cut it. Then. And then let me... I can't believe I did that again. Okay. 
But now instead of the cast, I have a brace. And I don't have to keep it on all the time, which is really nice. Okay, so let's try this one more time. So it's, you score the first time, one and a quarter. And let me make sure my, my cutting blade is up there. And then at four and a quarter. Should I use that gray one? I didn't even. And then I went too light on this one. Hold on, let me do it one more time. One and a quarter. Let's try to be too light on it. So you definitely want to make sure you, you see the impression, but yeah, that one's good. That's the four and a quarter. And then the last one is at nine and a half. And this is where I just cut it last time. Make sure that's up there. Use the gray one. Muy bien. Ha! Huh, did it. Okay. Now I'm going to put this my cutter away over here or I won't get into any trouble. Okay. So then this one folds down. And then this one will fold this way up so that the polka dots show. And then it folds down like that. Way bien. See? And then it overlaps. Now, if you want more of an overlap, you can always just make this a smaller, like one inch instead of one and a quarter. Um, but I just make it easy. And then you will need your bone folder. Make these nice and crisp. So that's one and a quarter, four and a quarter, and then at nine and a half to make these just like that. Super easy. And then you need... Um, Put it on a base and this is just a regular um five and a half by four and a quarter which is our normal and i'm just going to glue it down so we're just going to glue the base down to our little cardstock panel that we cut now i've been using glue you can use any of your favorite adhesives um, I like glue because I can give it gives me a little bit of wiggle room. Um, I don't know why it's super dry in here. I think because we're at in Arizona. What we have is it's cold at night and then it's warm during the day, so the heater will run like in the morning. So it is a little bit like um, dry in here. I actually have my water bottle because I'm super dry. Okay, so that's it. Just like that, you can make sure you get it down nice so it's nice and even on your cards. Isn't that cool? Oh, okay. And then you need to cut two little strips of whatever color. So there's so many. And like I said, I did, um, let's see, I did a bunch of different ones. All right, this one I used the Bermuda Bay background. But this one I used the Flirty Flamingo. And then this one is the Bumblebee. And so whichever um, one that you cut as your base, I'll cut the two little strips. So this one is on the Bermuda Bay, but I could have probably used Flurry Flamingo or um, the Bumblebee. This is so pretty, but I went, I went ahead and did it that color because it matched the dots on the inside. That's actually how I decided what colors to use really on all of them. So you're going to take your little um, strip and these are one quarter inch by, no, half inch. I think these are half. Do, do, do. Yeah, a half by four. Yep. Half by four. And so the first one you're going to go ahead and we're going to make it even right here with this bottom. This is the bottom lip. We're just going to make it even, right? So it's just the bottom. So it's flush with the bottom on both sides just like that super nice Ooh. oh hi Laura hi Kay okay so glad you guys made it okay and then on the top so this is so usually the scoring is the easy part and this is the difficult part so hopefully <laughs> I won't mess this part up so then on the second piece of um, your little strip you're gonna hold this down so you can see See how much of the of your blue is there? You're going to kind of make do the same thing on this side. So just put the glue on the strip for now, just so you can make sure you get it right where you want it to go. I find that I do it pretty good the first time, and then I mess with it, and sometimes I 
get it out of the way. And then just make sure you've got it on there straight like that. That way when we're gonna we're gonna glue that down, that way it's the same on each side. And then you can just go ahead and add a little bit of glue to this flap. And it'll just glue right down on top of it. Just like that. Oi. And then we need some ribbon. So I've been using the white ribbon. I'm almost out of it. This is from the um this is a fox fox the fox linen ribbon and it is from the every um flowers of every season combo back. Just almost at the end. I like this. It's a nice wide ribbon and I'm having trouble with my bows. So I am going to just tie it in a knot. Right here. Ah. I'm gonna hold my tongue just right. Oh no, I didn't get it strong enough. Let me put this away. I mean, tight enough. It's gonna be one of those days. It is a Monday. I haven't gone on Monday in a while. I know I had some nails to do that. It's so exciting. Okay. So oh, I should have taken my brace off, but I don't want to hurt my hand. Okay. So you do want to get this tight around here. Not so tight that it bows, of course, but definitely have to hold your tongue just right. Oh. So I have to start going to occupational therapy, though, for my hand. I'm surprised by just having it um, in the cast for what was it like six weeks? How how weak my fingers are? There we go. Okay. So then once you've got it, now I'm tying the I've been tying mine over here um, to the right side, but you can always turn it on the left side and then put your heart on the other side. Um, it's whatever your preference is. And then I'm just going to take my snip, say it, scissors or your paper snips, cut it off at an angle. So it kind of looks like a bow without having to be a bow. Is that cute? Oh, it's so cute. Okay. And then because it's not glued on or anything, you can move your bow how you want it to go. But then when we put our um, our heart on it, it'll help keep it in, in um, exactly where it needs to go. Okay. So look at that. I've got enough for maybe two more. And I'll be out. Okay. So very cute. Okay. So then we want to stamp. So I actually um, went ahead and already um, punched out the hearts, and we're gonna. And we, I use the the punch pack, which has this fabulous um, scalloped heart, and then and then a not um, a regular edged heart. That way they layer so lovely together. And I went ahead and did the the um, I did the flirty flamingo. You can of course use what um, you could probably do black or. Um, yellow. I decided not to do it in the Bermuda Bay, so there'd be more of a contrast. And then you just need a piece of basic white for the, the thin heart, right? And then we're going to stamp our sentiment. And I just used my memento black. And the sentiment I used is actually from another, my favorite actually, of the um, celebrations. It's the Touch of Ink. I love this set. And the um, we're going to use the Thanks So Much. Just such a, such a cute... I already have that mountain. Now, it is a full polymer set, so I should use my um, paper pierce mat. And you can get these on, in my online store. And it's big, and I just cut mine in half so that it fits on my little um, my desk better. So stamp that right in the middle. <gasps> Yay! And then we're just going to glue it down to the um, the pink flirty flamingo heart. I love this punch bag. It's actually really cute. Perfect for Valentine's Day. It's very cute. Just get glue on there. Got a little bit of glue. And I've got 
What did I do with my glue eraser? I had it out. Here it is. I need my glue eraser. And stamp. this one is from Stampin' Up, but they don't sell them anymore. You can totally get these, like, on Amazon. I actually found some at, like, the Dollar Tree, like, at the dollar store. Which is nice. So you just glue, you just glue that on. Yay! And then we're going to take some Stampin' Dimensionals. And then what's important with the Stampin' Dimensionals is when you put them on here, we don't want it on the very bottom because it's going to hang over. So I just put them all on like that. And we're going to just stick it on here like that. Pull my little, little papers everywhere. These papers get everywhere. But I love Stampin' Dimensionals. Okay, here we go. Oh. Okay. And so I'm just kind of positioned. So as you can see, it hangs. So it goes over the bow. And then it hangs over both sides of that and down. And then you can turn over, you can see, you can't see the dimensionals, but you know that, that it hangs over <laughs> just like that. Isn't that cute? Okay, so then we need to cut out a, a flower. And um, you can see I did that on these ones as well. Just And it's a, they have some really great patterns on here. Now I had cut out um, a rose that I was going to use on this one, but as you can tell, it was way too big. It can't be bigger than <laughs> bigger than your sentiment. So I would say, um, of all the flowers, I would pick one that's kind of like small to medium, a little daisy. I thought it looked really good on that one. And then we'll get another little yellow flower right here. And we'll cut that out. So even though I messed up that one piece of paper, you can still use it because we will. Um, you need to cut out flowers. Of course, I'm fussy cutting out the flower, but you can. Um, I need my glasses. I also do strips with it as well. So even though I can't use it for this card, but I had, I, like I said, this was my second go. So I don't know if you guys saw that I had it, I tried to go on like two seconds earlier. I dropped my um, score blade on the ground and then I, um, I cut the paper and it wouldn't work and I couldn't figure out why. It's because it wasn't 12 by 12. It was a piece that I had cut down and didn't realize. So it was only 10 inches instead of 12 inches, and it won't work if you don't have it 12 by 12, which is funny. So I, of course, panicked and thought I did it wrong, and then I did it different, and it was wrong. <laughs> Luckily, like I said, I can cut this paper down. I have fussy cutting. I love fussy cutting. Now, if you don't like to fussy cut, you can um, just put a jewel Instead of a flower, you can put one of the um, a rhinestone or sequins. I just really like the flowers, and I love fussy cutting. It is very soothing to me. Okay, so then you're just going to take a glue dot. I think these glue dots are on backwards. And just put it up here on the top corner, just like that. Isn't that pretty? And then now we just have to do the inside. So the inside, you need a piece of, of your basic white. And I've cut it at five, I think it's five and three-fourths. So let me look at my, my cheat sheet. What did I do with the cheat sheet? Here it is. It slid in here under the paper. Um, yeah, five and three-fourths. And then we're just going to stamp. So I always like to put something on the back, too, because um, otherwise it's naked. So I'm going to put thank you so much right here. And then I'm going to turn it over and do it right here in the back, just like that. Just in a second. And then I did cut two strips. And so these are also... Um, Um, the half an inch by four. I'm just going to glue that on there and glue one on the back. So I really like this DSP is so pretty. It's so bold. Just 
just like that. Just wanna kind of using this as a guide. I need to remember to do that when I flip it over. Okay, and then I'm gonna glue this on the inside. And the reason why I've cut this one down more, usually, um, I think it's like f oh, three and seven eighths maybe. I did it a little bit smaller than I usually do on my inside, just so I can show a little bit more of this very fabulous design series paper underneath the white and, and the blue. So it looks really nice. And I'm going to go do this. Be careful when you're putting on your this strip. You want to make sure that you get it so it doesn't hang over, it should go from four to four, like that. Because if you've got it too much, you can see it on the sides. So I want to make sure you got that centered nice. Usually it doesn't matter, but this time you can see it because look, it closes. So you want to make sure. And then of course you get glue ink, glue all over your fingers like me. My trusty little glue um, eraser. <gasps> Just like that. How sweet is that? And it was not difficult. <gasps> That's so pretty. And then, of course, I always add our Stampin' Up! logo on the back. So we're not Hallmark. We can have our Stampin' Up! And then this is also our angel policy. So if you like to make cards and sell at bazaars, you can get this. This one's from the Make a Difference um, set. It's in the main annual catalog. We have a new one, too, that's cute. I should have gotten that one out. That's in the new June to, to um, January to June mini catalog, too. But I have that one on my desk always ready. So there you go. So that was super quick and super easy. If um, you don't cut your, you have to remember to use your score and dot cut. Um, and again, you do need to make sure you, with your bone folder, you go over and burnish your um, your edges here. I actually, before I took the pictures, I actually used my huge block and set it on top before I made them to try to make sure to help it keep it so it's it's down more for when I um, was trying to take the pictures. But you know when you put it in the mail, and this mail is just like any of the other because it is the same. It's the, the, the base is the regular size, the um, five and a quarter by four and a half, five and a half by four and a quarter. So anyway, so I hope you guys like that. I've got one of these, these are like menace, stamped dimensional pieces. They're everywhere, always. No matter how, oh, they're like clean too, I get them everywhere. And it looks great in all the different colors. And this is definitely a very bright, and fabulous um, set of DSP that looks great with all of the colors. And this color is actually Cherry Cobbler. Is that wild? So fabulous, so fabulous. And then to make sure you, your colors, um, you know what colors actually match, you can always remember to check. It actually has all of the colors listed on the back, on the little, on the back page. Because this, this color, this has got Bumblebee, Cherry Cobbler, Flirty Flamingo, Granny Apple Green, Just Jade, Misty Moonlight, Petal Pink, Pool Party, Poppy Parade, Pumpkin Pie, Shaded Spruce, So Saffron, and Whisper White. So, so much, so many colors in this. So, so beautiful. So thank you guys. That was super quick. And I just want to mention um, also that t today is the 8th, so that means you got two more days till you can get um, the Paper Pumpkin. So um, our... Um, Aga, the paper pumpkin, um, you have on Feb you have till February 10th to get it. It makes nine cards, three of three designs, and um, it's called the Bouquet of Hope. You can see there's one picture of, um, actually I've got my, let me move my little banner out of the way. Um, that beautiful card is one of the cards, but it makes two other designs. So um, it's only uh, $22 in the United States. Or you can get a three-month subscription a subscription in my online store, and it qualifies for a free item. So um, the field and the flower and field 
designer series paper actually coordinates with this fabulous paper pumpkin kit. So you can totally do that. And then of course, if you order anything in my online store this month, you um, can get this Dandy Garden Mega Tutorial Bundle for free from me um, as well. It is um, 62 tutorials in Imperial and Metric with all the measurements and supply list and instructions to make these. And this is with the, the group that I'm actually um, block hopping with today. The, that, that's my, my training group that did this. And so there are demonstrators from all over the world, which is pretty awesome. So um, if you order from me, you can get that for free, which is pretty awesome. So if you guys need anything, of course, if I can get this to come up right, do to do, do. You can find the instructions to make this card um, as uh, and all the measurements and the supplies that I used on my website, christiestampinspot.com. And there's my February horse coat if that you need anything. Um, and I hope you guys enjoyed today's cards. And it's actually super easy as long as you remember to score, not to cut, <laughs> and start with 12 by 12. So anyway, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day, and happy crafting. Bye.